I know you. Of course he's a pendejo. You're here to fucking kill me. Seems like more like you trying to kill me. It's self-defense. That fucking scar, Liliana. I should have killed you back in New York. Who do we have here? Liliana. Now, let me refresh your memories a little bit for those of you who might have forgotten who Liliana was. She made an appearance in about the first three episodes of the original Power. She was the first person to get attacked by the Lady Kanan assigned to put those hits on Ghost in the beginning. Liliana's face was slashed by this same lady in the elevator and Julio sent her to the hospital under the false pretense that she was his girlfriend. While Tommy thinks she should be killed because she might talk, Ghost thought otherwise. No, because if he sends it, then he owns us forever. And if not, he takes advantage of our weakness and he sells us out. Either way, we're fucked. Ghost wasn't sure if killing her was an option. The reason Liliana was not killed but sent away was because of what Tasha told Ghost. You want a woman's loyalty? Give her security. You give her that, she'll never betray you. So it was Tasha's idea that saved this Liliana lady. Now, later, Julio went to her at the hospital and told her that the mark on her face will make people ID her quickly so they can't work with her anymore. And truly, the mark on her face was bad for business. In episode 3, Julio asked Tommy if he really wants her dead and Tommy said no. I bet my dick she's gonna snitch someday. Yeah, you want me to take her out right now? Nah. She was given money and asked to leave and never come back. And truly, when security was provided for her, she never snitched. Knowing that Tommy wanted her dead back then was the reason why when she heard about a white guy in town, she decided to track him thinking he was looking for her to kill her after many years. In this video, I'm going to talk briefly about Liliana and Tommy who shot JP's bar, who Tommy set on fire and Tommy's generosity. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button for more power content. If you have already subscribed, thank you for the support. Now let's jump straight to business. Now that Tommy found Liliana and what she has been doing, it is obvious they will be working together. Now, Tommy has already been at where Rojas dropped his products, so he definitely know who to deal with and how they work. Therefore, Liliana will be a great partner in this case to help Tommy navigate his business well in Chicago. And from the look of things, Liliana has products but she can't move them fast enough. So if she and Tommy works together, they will control a lot. And I feel at this point, if you have someone like Tubi joining them, they will make a great team. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about Tommy working with Liliana? Now moving on, Tommy's generosity towards his brother is truly amazing and I think I like the way they are both bonding really fast. I just hope they stay that way but then there is one major problem and that is Tommy's unknown but known nephew. Reason being that they have already met and he even wanted order to shoot Tommy without knowing he is his uncle. Jay, who calling the shots here? Give me the word, I'll smoke white boy right now. And like we know Tommy, once he ID you for the first time, he will be quick to remember the next time he sees you. Now whatever his nephew got going on, he is just as stubborn as Tariq influenced by his mother. From the look of things, he hates his father for whatever reason we are yet to know. But from JP's perspective, he was two when he went inside. Now, after 14 years, his mother took him away. Even though he fought hard to be in his life, he just vanished. Now, the shooting that happened at the bar wasn't done for robbery nor to kill anyone. Indeed, someone is trying to get his attention like Tommy said. Now, who could have shot at his place for no reason? Because nothing was taken, it was just shot at. So it seems to be more personal, probably revenge or bitterness, you name it. Now, there is only one person that comes to mind if there is any sort of bitterness and that is his son. JP's son shot at his bar. Now, if you look closely at the gun here, it was the same gun he was hiding here later. Now, the disadvantage of the situation with regards to JP is that he doesn't know where exactly his son is or who he has become. Fortunately for the kid, he knows where to find his father and what he does. Now, what is likely going to happen is Tommy might bump into his nephew again, probably deal with him 
or fight with him without knowing. So I just hope Tommy gets to know he is his nephew before he catches a bullet without knowing he had a white uncle. And gradually, I must say Tommy is having family building around him. I never had a brother. I did. Now, Tommy saying he had a brother, he is referring to Ghost. I'm sure along the line, JP is going to ask Tommy about this brother that he said he had. Maybe then, his answer can tell if Ghost is indeed dead or still alive. And I'm sure they will make him say it in a way as if he is dead, but at the same time, he is not. Now, let me know what you think about this kid. Why does he have a picture of himself and his dad and yet destroying his bar? What do you think could be the reason? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Let's continue this conversation. Now, Tommy is still playing his cards in a way that people owe him instead of him owing them. The people who kidnapped him and Diamond, I believe, were the ones in the trunk of the car. If I'm not mistaken, I heard two voices hitting the trunk of the car and I don't know what you think about that. But from all indication, it was both the guy and the lady who were in the trunk. Let me know if you think it was only the guy or the lady was part. Now, someone asked me a question under one of my posts here that if Tariq and Tommy will meet again. Well, to answer that, from my point of view, Tommy and Tariq will meet again. I believe Power Book 2 and Book 4 will interconnect. That is why they are showing Book 4 alongside Book 2. So yes, I'm sure Tariq will need Uncle Tommy again and like we know from Chicago to New York by road, is roughly about 12 hours 30 minutes. Unlike LA, which would have taken about 41 hours without traffic to get to New York. So it will be easier for Tommy to go back from Chicago than if he was in LA. So yes, it is possible Tommy and Tariq will cross paths. Now, I ran a couple of polls on my community page, but let me run you through a couple of them. You can check them out yourself. The first question was, who do you think Tommy loved the most? And it's quite interesting. Out of 6,083% people think he loved Lakeisha more than Harley. Well, I don't know what you think, but you can leave your comment down below or go to my community page here on YouTube and also add your vote. Now, this one is quite a little bit arguable and a lot of people in the comments are really, really arguing about the fact that who is to blame for Zeke's death? Out of 7,400 votes, 54% says it's Diana's fault and 29% says it's Lorenzo's fault, 17% decides that okay this is monet's fault i don't know it's been a banter in the comment section you guys should go there go check it out yourself but what do you think do you think diana is to blame for zeke's death so some people are with the argument that if she hadn't opened the bag and if she hadn't informed lorenzo lorenzo would have stayed home and zeke would have stayed alive but come on guys lorenzo pulled the trigger well that is people's opinion and you can see majority are saying Diana is to blame. I think majority of my videos here talks about whether Ghost is still alive or not. Even if the video has nothing to do with Ghost, I sometimes ask this question. Now, I decided to run a poll and about 6,800 people, 66 believe Ghost is still alive and 34% believe Ghost is dead. So at this point, I think majority of us here believe Ghost is still alive. I know people will start coming at me at the comment section that Ghost is dead, let it be, get over it and blah blah blah. But here is the poll and yet 66% of 6,800 people who voted believe Ghost is still alive. I don't know about you, you can leave your comment or just go to my community page, click and vote as well and leave your comment there, let's get interactive. Now finally with regards to Ghost again and I'm quite surprised the number has changed especially with regards to this question, will you still watch Power if they drop Ghost RIP post now? I mean, right now, just imagine they just drop Ghost RIP post and we know that the moment they drop the RIP post, it means Ghost is dead. Question is, will you still watch Power? I'm surprised and not so surprised that over 5,600 people voted 79% says yes, they will continue watching power. 21% says hell no, they are not going to watch power. If you just oppose this voting with the previous one about whether Ghost is still alive or dead, it's like there is a funny feeling going on here 
because people still want to watch power in spite of the fact that ghost is partially dead let me put it that way because I think I'm one of the advocates who believes that uh, Ghost is still alive. But well, you can leave your comments in the comment section and let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think about all these polls. If you like this video, kindly hit the subscribe button, share, like, and don't forget to leave your comments below. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.